I, I told y'all what judging would do. I, I just told y'all what judging would do. I explained to you what the Lord said judging was. It, it, it is to pronounce the ending or, you know, or the, the ending of a thing. You know, to pronounce a sentence on uh, demise. Uh, those are synonyms. Um, that's what judging is. You know, to literally look at it and uh, uh, for if you need another definition, a simple definition for judging is, is to look at it and say that it has no more value. Um, um, that's 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 judgment. Is to look at it and, and and to deem it as having no more value. Um, you just saw your daddy do all this stuff, boy. You know what I'm saying? You just saw your daddy uh, obey God. You know to the best of his ability. Took him all them years to build that ark and got talked about by everybody in the community and all the surrounding cities and all. They were steady talking about your daddy. You 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 saw him go through all this and I would dog if it didn't end up being somebody in his house that uh end up putting him at, at a judgment and at the my Delphine, you 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 did Delphine, look you, you know what I'm saying I would dog if it didn't end up being uh you know what I'm saying somebody right there among him that would put him right at the my Del- <laughs> Lord have mercy God so listen let me help y'all for uh, uh those of you that, that that you know what I'm saying for those of you that don't really understand and know how how um. You know, look, listen. Let me let, let me say this to to to, the, to those of you that that have the calls and stuff on your lives, and you know, and you really want to live out the calls. You better be ready for this right here, because I can guarantee you, you got your ham somewhere on deck. The same way Jesus had him a uh, uh, Judas, you got your ham that gonna be somewhere, you know, on, on deck. I guess that's why I, I you know, I, I I used to love ham. I left that pork alone, and I, I guess it was good because you get your ham right. Down on, on on deck, you know what I'm saying, and and look 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 at how this situation took place. I mean, literally, you know, I, I watched you, Daddy, do all of this. You know, I literally, you 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 raised me up, Dad. You know what I'm saying? You you literally taught me uh, uh, some great things. You really showed me some great things, Dad. You know, I, I literally learned how to to persevere from you, Dad. I literally learned how to to structure and to build from you, Dad. I I literally did. I I, I became strong in just watching you and how you you did things dad and all but then literally see dad in a a particular situation and i'm a dog if you don't be the one that goes and expose dad and literally does it without the bible says and the bible literally said without which means he had no hesitation and no reservation about himself to do it he literally done it and done it easily and done it quickly and done it smoothly But it got him cursed. It got him cursed. Noah wasn't cursed. And you would look at Noah and say, but he was drunk. Yeah, but Ham Hart wasn't right there for him. <laughs> this is why I watch me. Is why I watch me, man. I deal with me. I deal with me. I deal with me. I do. I deal with me. Hey, hey, hey! Wait a minute, Delphine. Why? Why you? Don't, whoa! Hold up. Why you handle that like that? Don't, don't do that. Don't do that, Delphine. Don't, uh-uh. You don't want nobody to do that to you. Don't do that, Delphine. Hey, wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. No. Don't do that. I watch me. I. You know what I'm saying? I. I, I don't. I don't sit here before y'all and say, you know, well, I'm just so perfect. I, I wouldn't tell you that, but man, I'm gonna tell you, I watch me. I watch me, and I deals with me, man. Man, what's you know? I deals with me. That literally is something, and it is something to to have to um, develop into this phase into knowing this and what you got to understand to see in this is is that sometimes it is the people right among you that will literally be the greatest offense against you uh, yeah yeah i don't know yeah y'all, y'all don't want to believe that do you <laughs> see that's why i adopted the motto that i have i'll let you touch me but i won't let you hold me See, I used to, before I got got wisdom, I used to let people hold me. And when you allow people to hold you, 
it, it is such a terrible thing if, if life sends y'all in different directions or, you know what I'm saying, or if something happens as to where there is a separation between y'all, well, if there is a hole there, then that means you can't go into your next place and they pretty much can't go into their next place or however. So I realized when I went and looked through the text and I haven't read the whole Bible yet, so I can't tell you that. I, I you know, I literally deal with the Bible as the Lord placed on my heart for me to do. Um, so I can't tell you that it's not there, but I can tell you this. I have not seen anywhere in scripture where Jesus allowed people to hold him. If you will ever notice there was a touch because all it takes is a touch. Uh, a lot of times that holding is when we become a little bit too involved in into things with people. And when we get too involved into things with people, it causes a, a tremendous hurt. You know, it causes a tremendous uh, heartbreak whenever things uh, separate or so. So if you just keep the mentality of I'll let you touch me rather than to let you hold me, then it's still just as valuable. Prove it to me, Pastor. I'm going to prove it if you just wait a minute. The woman with the issue of blood didn't have to be held by Jesus. All she had to do was be touched by Jesus. That's right. And he uh, and he feels a touch. How you know he feels a touch? He looked and said, wait a minute, somebody has touched me. Then turns around and the scripture says, for we have not a high priest which could not be touched, it says, uh, by the feeling of our infirmities. I don't let people hold me, but I'll let you touch me. I'm not finna let you get all up in me where if you walk away, I fall apart. You crazy. I ain't doing that no more. That like to kill me in a man. I ain't doing that no more. If you go, I'll see you later. I ain't calling nobody, talking bad about you or nothing. I'm backing out backwards, baby. I'm backing out backwards. Throwing the sheet over you and leaving. Bet it. You put that one down. You can write that one in a book. You can put that one down. I'm backing out backwards. I'll let you touch me. I ain't gonna let you hold me. Uh-uh, uh-uh, because ain't nothing sure in this life but Christ. Ain't nothing going to last forever in this life but Christ. Nope, 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 nope. And especially when you in the type of work that I'm in, you in the line of stuff that I'm in, you better not. You mess around, you want to. And I'm talking to the, I'm talking to my up and coming pastors and 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 all you know those of you that have the great calls because i you know people that sit among me got great calls on their life you better catch this wisdom i'm saying to you you better not trust it you better i learned early i didn't have to wait and be pastoring 40 years to learn it i didn't have to wait to be pastoring 20 years to learn it uh-uh baby i learned it early let them touch you don't let them hold you let them touch you but don't let them hold you. Because the same folk that sit right there and watch you build. I'm talking about watch you build now. And literally, you know, uh, uh, talk about and 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 talk to and claim to have so much adoration for you. And everything will be the same jokers that will turn around and expose you. But what you have to understand is, is that boy left cursed. That boy left cursed. And as a matter of fact, the land up to which he is right, the, the land that he was sent into, into this current day to day is still under the curse. Now then. That land still going through all types of turmoil. That land. Why? Because of that curse. Because of that curse. Because of that curse. It's very, very vital how we handle things, especially, let me catch a break, any questions or any comments, God, man, I'm telling you, I, gotta, I need to take a cruise, any questions or any comments, y'all, listen, you don't have to be so quiet, listen, I got preachers on here, where y'all at?
thought they got me out here by myself. They got me out here waiting in the water. Y'all got me out here by myself. I don't mind, though. I don't mind. I ain't scared. I'm like the bone crusher. I ain't no scared. What's happening, Caldwell? Hey, what an awesome lesson this morning. Uh, just great. And, and the thing I got out of it most is they wa he watched his daddy be. He was there when it was rough. He seen his daddy go through everything he went through. Mm -hmm. And yet he was the main one who tried to expose his daddy. Mm -hmm. He watched. He watched everything that happened. He watched the the rain. He watched the people die that didn't listen to his daddy. Mm -hmm. He saw all that, mm -hmm. and, and he was close to his daddy. You know what? Come, I think he was close to his daddy because he went in there and checked on him first. Mm -hmm. He was the first. Let me go see about my daddy. Mm -hmm. And when he saw his daddy in something that he didn't think he was supposed to be in, mm -hmm. he's the first one to expose him. First one. The closest person are the people to you are the ones that can expose you the worst. We have to be real careful, like you said, and I'm going to adopt that. You can touch me, you can't hold but me. you can't hold me. You can't hold me. <laughs> All right. God bless you, woman of God. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, you can, you, you can, you can touch me. You know, Go ahead. You know what he just said, that it's like they care the most. Because he's the first one went in there to check on it. But if you think about it, you know, a lot of times people that's really jealous of you, they're going to stay close because they want to know what's going on. That's right. So could it be that he might have been the one that might have been just jealous or wanted to be where he was? So he stayed close. Because a lot of times, like, I heard the other day one of the officers was in there mm -hmm. saying, he next in line, he think he going to be the next chief. Mm -hmm. So he left from one person one position and went into another position so mm -hmm. he could be close to him because he felt like he was going to be the chief. Mm -hmm. So now he left because he wants something that he got. It's mm -hmm. a position that he want to hold. So he might have mm -hmm. just been there. I'm going to play the part until I get you to a place where I know mm -hmm. that you, because I'm going to watch you do this, this, and stuff because I'm mm -hmm. right there with you. So and I, being that he's so close to him, we didn't watch him build. He then the people that he's so close to him, they respect him too. So when mm -hmm. he gets ready to say something, they gonna believe it because they right there with him. Unless they really think to try to he gonna try to grab onto the people that he got. So of course he gonna try to expose him because he want what he got. Mm -hmm. He been watching him the whole time. He right there. Mm -hmm. Exactly, and <clears throat> I can see the point of both of y'all. But this is the thing about it. The prodigal son, now, to think about his stance. He was right there, too, to realize that there was an inheritance that belonged to him. And he messed around him with the wrong heart. Give me my stuff. See, that that wrong heart, that heart going to get exposed. It's going to get exposed. That heart is going to always, I watch folk, I'm, I kid you not, and I don't care about you watching me. You can do the same thing to me. I tell y'all, I watch everybody. I watch my mama. I watch my daddy. My daddy got a problem with me right now. He sure do. When I went down there for the end of the year and stayed over to the first of the year, came in, me and my dad bumped heads so many times down there. And my dad got an issue. He can, When he talks to me now, I can tell in his voice that he got an issue. I prayed about it. I'm waiting on the Lord to give me the time to be able to speak to him about it because it's an underlying issue in the heart. I done got two letters from people. And in the letters, they both was trying to pretend like they was in a good place and they were lying because I could feel the underlying issue that was in the words of what was being said. I'm telling you, that heart is going to be revealed. It's going to be revealed. One way, if you want to know if people really with you or not, start progressing. It'll show you whether they with you or not. Start progression or just start talking about progression and you'll see whether they really with you or not. You will find out what the deal is because those that are really with you will literally be proud to see you have your moment, even if it's not their timing of the moment, or they will realize that if they sow into your moment, that that sets way for their moment to come. But when you start progressing and they do this stepping back and all, and you ain't really hearing.